Axe. Oh. Axe loves to fight Spacey's. It's the matchup he knows the most. He spent a lot of time training with Vector Man, well-known Yoshi, but also anybody who's played him knows he's got a pretty technical Falco. Arizona, we've got some space animals, so he's got his gimps and his combos down. Uh, it's it's the reason he plays Pikachu, I think. Wow. <laughs> who would have thought? Four years ago, try try telling that to anybody who plays this game. Just try. Well, you know, it's it's really silly. Years ago when I first started, 2004, back when I read every character-specific board because I couldn't get enough of the game, there was a... There's a smasher, I think she was, I think it was a girl named Rainy Day Toast. Okay. Who played Pikachu, and she said something along the lines of, Pikachu's not tournament viable until people get really good with his up air. And so we learn how to tail spike right. He's <laughs> never going to be good. Wow. And, uh, and then Axe happens. <laughs> he gets you off the level, and it's more than just his up air, but his up air is his bread and butter tool. It opens up spaces, it turns them into mincemeat for his combos, and people get hit by it. He crosses right. up the shield, he'll shield stab, he'll hit him when they jump out. He puts in work. And I think before that, Pikachu was known as just this hidden counter pick against uh, certain floaty characters. Yeah. Shoot at, uh, I remember, would pick her against Peach. And Every once in a while to avoid the Ice Climbers matchup against her. Yeah, and that's so weird because Axe hates fighting Peach. He's got a pocket Marth that he uses against a lot of Peaches. <laughs> uh, I and find that funny. It is, it's one of those things about different players' play styles, where you come from and what aspect of the game you focus on yeah. that makes a matchup a counter pick or not. And are we looking at Battlefield? It I think we're looking looked, at Battlefield. Yeah, it looks like it. That's what I thought I saw back there. Axe's favorite level against anybody uh, that isn't FD. Oh, no. He, they went Dreamland. to Dreamland. Okay. Maybe Little England knew. But, yeah. Right now, Axe just wants to get down. Yeah, he's... The important thing about up air, though, is it's not a damage builder. It's an opener. It's got to get lead into something or else it's just a nuisance. At best. All right, catches uh, that down throws smash. Throws out the down smash. Don't know why. I think he's nervous because he's. They're both fighting for the tournament life. All right, to get into top eight, uh, th that's a big deal. It's like this cutoff yeah, for doing well at the tournament. It's a sudden new lease on life. You aren't in losers bracket once you're in top eight. You're in a round robin. Yeah. It's for people in losers bracket. It is this huge step up. Little England not slouching at all, picking up his combos, keeping momentum. Gets grabbed. Nice work there. All Falls gets into the cloud. Bad weather, <laughs> nasty forecast, high percent chance of pain. Yeah. Off the top, somewhere over the rainbow. Right on Goodbye, cue. Goodbye, Falco. <laughs> and Axe has regained it. Oh, he almost had him at the edge. Little England does a get up with no attack. Something Axe almost never sees. He's ready for tech chases with his up smash. He's getting the combo. Uh, Little England's thunderstruck. It is nasty weather. I, I am speechless at how Axe has been playing this for the past couple of stocks. But oh, that was that very, guard. It was a good attempt, but that forward B that has a tendency to cross up and get reverse hits for the Falco and Fox works in Little England's favor right there. A lot of hits exchanged. Little England from being basically dead to picking up a bunch of percent. That's a nice pickup for him. He gets nudged off. Axe, Axe looking, was looking so dominant that last stock. He picked up a, a couple of unnes some unnecessary damage just from missing his edge guard, but, it, but it's okay right now. As long as he makes his recovery, he's got yeah, another shot. Oh, oh. That gimp, pineapple, little England, <laughs> does this is such, an, such a, I don't know what, how to describe Maj it. That it was, was, it was a nice work. That is exactly what Axe wants to do. And if you mess around with him near the edge and you eat the reverse tail spike, that could be your stock. Oh, no. And this is, that's going to be it. That's his life. From a dominating first stock to a sudden basic four stock reversal, Axe takes game one. He caught him out so easily and in so many different situations. After yeah. LE had bounced him around the platforms for a bit and was looking pretty good at the start, but he just lost all his momentum all at once. Axe basically left him no breathing room. Yeah, if I had to guess, I'm going to anticipate that Little England, since he knows he's getting gimped, he's not going to look for some... Oh, he's got a... He has a pocket sheet. He does. This he's, is been, a, he's been trying to work this... I will be frank. This is a terrible idea. Really? Axe knows how to fight sheet. She's got a chain grab, but Axe is good against... He's good at just avoiding grabs. Granted, he almost lost to Dreffin in this matchup just yesterday, though. He did, but... 
Is, is Treffin better than Little England's Sheik? He's got his grab. This is what he wants. Is it going to be enough? No, he gets out. It's, it doesn't get him as much mileage as he yeah. wants it to. He's trying and to go. Yeah, for it's even up. It's evened up again. Axe uses his mobility to counteract Sheik's priority. Managed to make it back to the stage. He's going to be really fishing for that grab again. And yeah, Axe has Pikachu has really good recovery. He is not as afraid of down throw slap until he's in KO percentages. And he's just he's just working the ground game with the neutral air, trying to get him in a position where he can start the edge guard. Or if he's lucky, connect with an up smash. Oh, gets the back air off of that uh, up B by Axe. Yeah, Sheik, Sheik is very dependent on getting her bread and butter grab combos to kill, or if she can't against certain characters, oh, nice. getting her getting her edge guards. Little England with punishing the up, sma up smash there with a forward air, killing Pikachu straight up. He's, oh, he's starting he gets to get the cross a up, and I think that's going to be. Oh no! Oh yes! Little England and Oh no at the same time. Axe little, picks little up the stock with the. Uh, he gift wraps that one. It is Pikachu's birthday after all. Little England with a little bit of his, tra uh, <laughs> sadly, tra trademark, make up his own recovery. Crouch cancel grab. Let's Axe wiggle out. Don't know about that down tilt. Surprised there was no grab from Axe, but. All right, yeah, he gets out. The grabs aren't as strong. Axe knows the percent that he can get out of the chain grabs. Yeah, and he, he knows the DI to do it as soon as possible. He did that effectively against Dreffin yesterday. He's doing it again today. And he's picking out the spots of Little England's jumps, hitting him out of the air pretty well. Good choice from Axe, using the back air. Little England, I think he anticipated getting sent into the stage. Didn't DI it as well as he wanted. And up throw, up smash, works on Sheik. Who knew? Well, Axe did. <laughs> oh, there's that up air, gets him off stage. This is a situation. Axe has his momentum oh. back. We're looking at an encore. Little England right now is trying to figure out how he can play this matchup to his advantage, because I don't, he, I don't think he's a Sheik player. He isn't. Well, I mean, he is. He doesn't main her. He had picked her up for specific matchups, as far as I remember. But I guess I don't know. I don't think he's really played this matchup. Well, against someone like Axe, who has played these counter pick matchups, you need to be a player of the character to really exploit it. It's it's something I experience against Peaches all the time. People think they can pick a lame level and peach me out, and it never works. I've played. I have had the fortune to play all the best Peaches in the oh. world. And Axe. One of the what? nastiest combos, but Little England's got, he's got a smile on his face. He knows Axe is good. Yeah. He's sad, but I don't think he feels too terrible. No, he, he's put in a pretty good performance at this tournament. Uh, he outperformed what some people's expectations of him. Yeah. I think, though, for his levels of confidence, from what I know of him, he lived up to his own expectations. Um, yeah, he, and I'm pretty happy well, he got that. a good win on Kage. He made top 10. Oh, yeah. Big tournament. Couldn't quite seal the deal on Axe, though. And that's interesting that they got a rock, paper, scissors going. Axe losing to Kage. Yeah. Kage losing to Little England. Oh, yeah, they had, they had yeah. that little... They got, the, got a daisy chain going. <laughs>